Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I thought it might be beneficial to do an unboxing setup video of my latest purchase. These are the night vision binoculars from the company My Animal Command. And as with every purchase, I like doing these unboxing videos just to show you what you get should you order this item and show you the quality, some of the setup of the item, uh, just to help you make a decision if you're thinking about buying it. First, let's go through all the items that you get. You get a neck strap that you can connect to the carrying case it comes with or the binoculars itself. You get an AV cable. This would be if you wanted to pl plug the binoculars into a TV so you can retrieve the images or videos, watch them on a television. Get a polishing cloth or lens cloth for your binoculars for keeping them clean. You get an instruction manual. I gotta say the instruction manual is written very well. I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see it, but there's color images. The setup is kind of walked through picture by picture. Very easy to follow. This company is out of Australia. They have a email address and 800 number if you have any issues uh, setting up the camera with the camera. So that's nice uh, to be able to contact them. You get a standard USB charging cable. This would be to charge the battery pack that it comes with as well as plugging into the binoculars if you wanted to retrieve your images uh, onto a computer instead of pulling out the micro SD card, which is rather small. You can just plug the binoculars into a computer with this cord. They give you a micro SD card. They send you a 32 gigabyte card, which is pretty nice. The binoculars will run on anywhere from four gigabyte to 32 gigabyte card. And again, a 32 gigabyte micro SD card is provided for you. The battery pack is a 10,000 milliampere battery pack. Basically means it will run the binoculars for up to eight hours on IR mode. And it's kind of cool, the cord for it attaches along the side of the battery pack. It takes 12 to 24 hours to charge. When you start charging it, there will be a light that displays on here that will tell you from zero to 100 what percent you're at. Again, 12 to 24 hours charging, but it will run your binoculars for up to eight hours. Get a really nice carrying case, double zipper, got a foam inlay for the binoculars so they can't be moving around in a hunting bag or a camping bag and then this side has a pouch for you to put all of your accessories really nice carrying case and then last but not least you get your night vision binoculars and I'm gonna do a quick glimpse of them and then we'll take a look at them in more detail nice rubber grips on the side nice rubber uh, buttons on top easy to press easy to feel uh, especially if you're using it at nighttime to know where the buttons are I mentioned that it comes with a battery pack that runs it for eight hours, but you can run it on AA batteries as well. It takes eight AA batteries. You would put four in here, four in here if you wanted to use them. I don't know why you would need them if you've got a battery pack that runs it for eight hours, but if you wanted to, you could. There's 3M Velcro on both sides here for connecting the binoculars to the battery pack if you wanted to, and it will take a standard thread if you wanted to use a tripod mount. Focus wheel so you can uh, focus in on whatever subject you're looking at. If you're using them at nighttime, you would want to take this eyepiece cover off. If you're using them for daytime, you would keep that on. So that's a quick unboxing. Let's go through some of the setup and talk about the battery pack and maybe show you some example images of what the video and picture quality looks like. Okay, so I thought it might be beneficial to walk you through connecting the battery pack to the binoculars. First, let me show you on the side here, there is a uh, little flap that opens up. That's where you're gonna put your micro SD card. That's where your AV cable would go. And then this is where you're gonna plug in your battery pack. The other thing I should have mentioned is there's 3M Velcro on the bottom of the binoculars, as well as on the battery pack, if you wanna connect the battery pack to the binoculars. This is where your AA batteries would go should you wanna use AA batteries. Four on this side, four on that side. Again, I don't know why you would really need that, being that you've got a battery pack that'll run it for eight hours. But just to show you that. Um, as I mentioned before, the battery pack has an automatic shut on and an automatic sleep mode to shut it off. Your binoculars will, uh, once you plug the battery pack into the binoculars, the battery pack will turn on automatically and that gives you a small window that you can turn on your binoculars. If you plug it in and you don't turn your binoculars on, you'll have to shake the battery pack to wake it up or unplug it and plug it back in so that it'll wake up again. I'll show you that real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug the battery pack in. 
and you'll notice as soon as I plug it in, the battery pack's turned on, I'm at 81%. And now at this point, I can press and hold the power button on the binoculars. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it, but you can see that the binoculars have powered on. Now the binoculars will stay running until I turn them off. There is a setting in here where you can turn on the automatic shut off so that if you haven't touched the binoculars in a certain amount of time, it'll shut them off completely. Um, but if you don't set that, they'll keep running until you turn them off uh, by pressing and holding the power button. Now I'm gonna do that now. If I press and hold the power button to turn them off, you'll notice that the battery pack will stay on. It'll only stay on for a couple of minutes and then it'll shut off on its own and go into standby mode to preserve battery life. So I hope that makes sense. It's kind of hard, I was gonna show you the settings, but there's so much reflection. Um, it's kind of hard so you, for you to be able to see the settings. It might be better for you just to read the instruction manual. But what I will do is try to attach some videos so you can get an idea of what the uh, outside daylight video and nighttime video looks like. Remember, these aren't military. Uh, the fact that they even do video and pictures at this price point is pretty cool but I find the quality to be very good and hopefully you'll be able to see that with the uh, samples that I attach. Thanks for watching. If you got any questions, post them. I'd be happy to help you out.